Okay, experts, we're back, and it's round three. In round three, as you know, you'll answer two questions, this time for $5 a piece. And while you're thinking, the other experts will bet on whether or not you know the answer. <laughs> if they guess it right, they will make just as much money as you do. Isaac, no offense, but we're going to start with the player with the lowest score. <laughs> Happens to be you again. Story of the day, right? <laughs> Here's your first question I in round it. three, Isaac. That's the category is the fresh, fresh Prince of Bel Air. Okay. What three characters appear in every episode of the show? And think about the answer. Don't answer it, because your opponents are trying to figure out if you know it, figure out if you're right or wrong. You ready, Isaac? Yeah. Let's hear. Uh, Uncle Phil, Will, and Carlton. That is correct. Gentlemen, they both thought you'd get it right. $5 for everybody. Well done. Hey! Everybody wins. Everybody. <laughs> we move now to you. To wrong, guys. Uh, we move now to you, Matt. Halloween movies. Here's your first question. Your opponents are going to figure out if you really do know the answer. The name of Michael Myers' psychiatrist, Sam Loomis, is a direct homage to a character in what other film? Michael Myers' psychiatrist's name is Sam Loomis, a direct homage to a character in what other film? Thinking about it, looking, studying. I don't know if that's a poker face on Matt or not. Well, let's hear the answer, Matt. Psycho. Psycho is correct. Gentlemen, Josh said you get it wrong. Isaac said you get it right. Josh does not get the $5 this I time. I it at the last second. But he does that's get a chance said. to answer a question here. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. Uh, Josh, here's your question. The category is Iron Chef. Ron Siegel and Bobby Flay, the only Americans to win on Iron Chef, both did so using what theme ingredient? The only two Americans to win on Iron Chef did so with the same theme ingredient. Ron Siegel and Bobby Flay were those chefs. And right or wrong, I sensed a last minute switch from right to wrong or wrong to right from Isaac there. A little thump right there, boom. What do you think, Josh? I believe it was lobster. I believe you're right. Five dollars, five dollars, and five dollars. Did you switch from wrong? You I did. Yeah. I saw it. Yep. Yeah. Very, so very. A good, I, I, a good I can't fool you guys. I can't fool you guys. We come back. Uh, we come back to you now, uh, Isaac. Your second question: The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. What is the name of Uncle Phil's law firm? A play on the name of a '70s band. What is the name of Uncle Phil's law firm? It's a play on the name of a '70s band. Josh is just looking at you like you're gonna betray anything. You know, I told you we're like make out close right now. Man. Like, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you. I don't know if you. I'm not gonna. Are you trying to come in? No. Oh, what are you doing? I'm just far careful. Away. He's, got, he's got yellow pepper on his breath. So. Yeah, that's uh, not sexy. What's your answer? Firth, Wynn, and Meyer. Firth, Wynn, and Meyer. That is correct. Right, right, and right. Five dollars for everyone. Everybody gets wealthier. Matt, we come to you. Halloween movies. Your second question, in Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers, what is the name of the curse that forces a person to kill their entire family in order to save civilization? What is the name <laughs> of the curse that forces a person to kill their entire family in order to save civilization? That was a whole bunch of, bunch of awkward right there. <laughs> How do you think I felt? He was right next to me. What do you think? Oh, Are we ready Thorn. with our uh, guesses? Thorn. Thorn is the Thorn. correct answer. Right and right, everybody gets five dollars. I should point out there are well, there's one contestant thus far, or two contestants who have not gotten the question wrong. We come to your second question. So by doing that, you point out there, there's one. Well, that's that got another way. <laughs> <laughs> one that has gotten it. It was hey, clever. You it was said, you said it. I named you no said one. It. I said nothing. <laughs> uh, Josh, one person near. Josh, your second question. In terms of the series, what does the number? 2,389,995 represent. In terms of the series, what does the number 2,389,995 represent? And you'll give me an answer now. That is the number of calories that Chairman Kaga consumed over the course of the run. You know what, Isaac? He's right. And you knew he would be, so there you go. $5 for everyone. We will be back with our fourth round and determine our expert of experts, so click right through. 
A very good friend of mine has an entertainment blog, and it is hotterinhollywood.com, and click next to go to the next round. That's what you wanted me to say?